Let's go foraging for birch sap. Birch trees have this lovely silvery bark to help you identify them. Once you've found a suitable birch tree, you're going to want to use some sacateurs or a knife to cut about halfway down one of the branches. Check that the birch sap is flowing and then you can attach your container. The sap should steadily drip for quite a long while. This was only after five minutes, but I left this overnight and as I came back the next day, it was half full. Once you're happy with the amount, you can take your container off the branch and give it a taste test. This is the magpie ink cap mushroom and it is a fascinating little find. So the ink cap mushroom family do a very interesting thing called deliquesce. And that means that as it gets older, the cap splays out and starts to almost melt. And this liquid that it produces can be used as a viable ink source. This is what it looks like as it starts to melt. All you need to do is leave the cap and there you've got it, you have ink. Let's go foraging for velvet shank mushrooms. Also known as enoki mushrooms, this stunning specimen grows on dead or dying branches. Often found in deciduous woodland, the bright orange cap is hard to miss. To identify this mushroom, it wants to have a bright orange cap and the gills want to be white fading to brown in age. The stipe is velvety, hence the name, and it goes from a dark brown at the base to a lighter colour near the gills. Their most identifying feature is this sticky cap that happens often after rain. The spore print will be a brilliant white colour and it's very stunning if you happen to do one. <laughs> 